Hey, what's up? World Jarrell here. I'm a filmmaker documentarian and I cover all kinds of conspiracies and cryptids. I've covered topics from Bigfoot, Loch Ness, Crab Squatch, Turtle Squatch, and today I'm heading out to the Lorlews National Forest to investigate some rumors of a cryptid called Face Takers. I'd like to see what that's all about. I'd like to talk to some locals and investigate. I've got my bags packed. All right, let's go. We got to catch a flight. I picked up my rental car from the airport and made my way directly up into the Lorlews National Forest, stopping at any little restaurant, coffee shop, general store, and gas station that I could find. The drive up into the mountain was calming, soothing, and I couldn't help but wonder if there was something sinister hiding behind that peaceful facade. Last year I was hiking in the Lorlews National Forest and stopped for a drink at this little gas station and bar called Pullin Station, way up in the mountain. That was where I first heard stories about the face takers, alleged cryptids of the forest that brutally removed their victims' faces and wore them like some kind of sick prize. I needed to learn more. I had to ask the locals. I investigated at a local bar called the Dusty Cactus then bumped into a bluegrass circle in the middle of the woods. I got my tent set up for the night. I'm just going to hike around the area for a bit. All right, so I spoke to some locals in this little town called Silver Falls. Um, the people there were absolutely adamant that I do not go up and look for cryptids or look for trouble or anything like that. People said that the black bear have been very active this year. There have been a number of attacks on campers from black bears. So people were saying, you know, don't go up there. But guys, nothing scares me. If you remember my previous documentary where I covered the dingle butt phantom of Dongleberry Bridge, you'll know that nothing scares me. I can handle anything that comes my way. So I got a couple notes here. A face taker will watch a group of campers and they'll wait till one person is alone, whether they go to use the bathroom or get supplies from a vehicle. When they're alone, that's when the face takers will ambush that single person. What they'll do is they'll remove that person's face, they'll consume the body, and then they'll use that victim's face to lure the other campers, you know, that their victim's party members, they'll lure them into the forest. It's really interesting. You just, I'm hearing a lot of interesting stories, but they're not really meshing or lining up. It's, it seems really scattered in how people are describing these things. 1974. Multiple children go missing, and three adult men are found eviscerated in the forests, surrounding a property where a popular sci-fi show, The Midnight Realm, was filmed. The men's bodies were torn to pieces. The missing children are never found. 1988. Two entire logging crews go missing while working a secluded area north of Silver Falls. Foul play was suspected until the remains of some of the missing men were found, lodged into the tree trunks in the area they were working. Officials were never able to determine the cause of death. Reports conflict as to whether or not there were any survivors. 1994, a local man is found on the side of the road, his body torn in half, but his legs still attached, just barely. Evidence suggests he dragged himself about a quarter of a mile out of the forest until he died of blood loss. Are all these cases related somehow? Could the face takers be responsible for these gruesome incidents? Alright, one of the guys in town hours ago uh, insisted that if I'm going to be up here camping that I keep a campfire burning for as long as possible. Didn't say why, he just said keep it going even in the early hours of the morning. I think there's other campers out here or something. Look. Hello? I saw you come out. I saw you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go looking. I, I heard people talking over there. Hello? Oh no, man. What is that? Oh fuck! Okay. I don't know what I saw. I didn't I didn't see anything. I didn't I didn't see what it was. I didn't I didn't get to go look at it. I didn't see anything. 
It was nothing. It was probably nothing. There's someone watching me from out there. There's footsteps. There's footsteps all around my tent. I can hear it. There's someone behind those trees there. God, what is that? I swear that I can hear something out there. There's like a... crazy. <laughs> Hi, I'm a normal human being just like you. My name is Jarrell. I run my own game development studio for a loop. I'm about 80% done with the development of Silver Falls Face Takers, but unfortunately I'm stuck on the last 20%, and the reason being is that developing video games is extremely time and energy intensive, and running a game development studio is very expensive. I'm in a position right now where I just have to keep working on smaller game titles that I can launch frequently just to pay the bills and keep my studio afloat. The goal of this Kickstarter campaign is to hopefully bring together enough crowd funds so I can cover the cost of development for the next two to three months so I can focus exclusively on finishing and launching Silver Falls Face Takers. Silver Falls is a hoarder game series that started on the Nintendo 3DS and the Wii U and now is on the Nintendo Switch. This is a game series that crosses different genres, gameplay styles, and hardware generations to tell the story of people that live in a secluded mountain town that has seen decades of UFO activity. Silver Falls Face Takers brings a whole new style of gameplay to the Silver Falls series. Players take on the role of an out-of-town camper who has randomly generated skills, stats, and equipment. Players must collect resources and battle waves of enemies for as long as they can survive. Eventually, when the player is defeated, the Face Takers will steal the face of that defeated character and wear it. The player will then take on the role of a new playable character with different skills, stats, and equipment. Depending on how well the player did with their previous character, equipment and skills may be passed on to the next character so they can do even better. Silver Falls Face Takers will be the ninth game in the Silver Falls series, not including all of the free homebrew games that I made. Just think of all the ninth games in your favorite game franchises. Final Fantasy IX, Dragon Quest IX, Mighty No. 9, they've all been huge successes. <laughs> so if you'd like to help make Silver Falls Face Takers a reality, head on over to the Kickstarter page to see how you can contribute. Please share this video and the Kickstarter page with your fellow gamers and any content creators you think would be interested in this. And one lucky patron to our Kickstarter campaign will receive the prize of a Silver Falls Dusty Cactus glass, so you can feel like you're having a drink at the bar in Silver Falls. Yum, 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 yum. Wow, that's delicious grown-up juice. So thanks for watching the video. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate all of your support. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in Silver Falls.